Good morning. Today is October 16, 2015. This is your WBHS News, and I'm Sydney Close. The National Honor Society is selling 16-ounce Bridgeport Bulldog drinking glasses. The cost of each glass is $8. The glasses will be delivered plenty of time for Christmas. Please see any NHS member or Mr. Swatton to order. And I'm Hannah Petrosky. There will be a Sadie Hawkins dance held on November 13th, sponsored by the National Honor Society. It will take place in the cafeteria from 7 to 10. Girls ask the guys. Please dress in matching flannels. Please remember no shorts. It costs $6 for a single and $10 for a couple. Ladies, if you have lost something at the homecoming dance last weekend, please see Mrs. Decker. She may have it. If you have not turned in your Saris order form yet, please turn it in as soon as possible. Jets team members are asked to turn in their candle order forms. There are also a few extra spirit shirts that can be purchased for $10. Please see Mrs. Canner to buy one. Congrats to the seniors on winning hallway decorating. This year's hallway decorating video is on YouTube. Make sure to check it out. Hi, I'm Hannah Petrosky with your WBHS News, and I had an opportunity to sit down with Mr. Shuttler and ask him a few questions. What academic achievements from our Bridgeport students have you been most impressed with? I had a chance to look at our third grade achievement results, and 92% of our students are proficient, which really says a lot about how well those students will do going forward. And we really owe a lot of that to our, our teachers, our staff, our parents um, for really supporting those students as they learn to read. Um, other things, the, the ACT is now on site, so that helps our upperclassmen as they prepare for college. And then one of the things I think is really neat is this newscast and the production value that you put on. You know, Mr. Davenport's class, Ms. Porter's class, and, and the students do an awesome job, and the quality is really fantastic. Are there any plans to make any improvements to the building or the grounds? Well, one thing that we have done, I don't know if you've seen, we've, we've redone the parking lot, and we have that sealed for winter, so it holds up better this winter. And another thing that we have in place is the, um, the Women's Club of Bridgeport. They helped us buy um, new flags for the light poles outside. So we wanted to get those replaced. If you've noticed, they're kind of kind of falling apart, and there's mold growing on them. And those were actually put in place by student council seven years ago when the building was, was opened. So we wanted to keep that tradition alive, so we have those in place, and now it's just a matter of getting them up. I hear that the elementary school students are taking a pledge to prevent bullying. What can you tell me about that? They had an opportunity to go to a presentation at the Ohio Valley Mall, and those materials and those, um, those lessons they learned are going to be brought back to the school, and um, the teachers and Mrs. Hall will teach some lessons in the classroom to um, make students aware what bullying is and how to prevent it. And at, at Bridgeport School, we're a pre-K through 12 building, so I believe that we can set a good example from the top down to where, you know, if the high school students are treating each other the right way and with respect, and if they speak to the young ones they see in the hallway, um, then really we're creating a family-like atmosphere that goes from, you know, the seniors all the way down to the little ones in pre-K. Well, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to answer a few of my questions. No problem. I enjoyed it. I feel like I'm on the Sports Center set. I'm ready to uh, go through the Sports Center top ten. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Hannah. And now I'm Jace Johnston with your sports. Tomorrow at 1, the football team plays Lucas at home. Come out and support the dogs. I'm Sabria Butler at Bridgeport's Homecoming 2015, asking people how they're enjoying their night. 
I'm here with Bridgeport freshman John Stark. How are you enjoying your night so far? Um, it's been everything I expected and more. They played like four Fetty Wap songs, been whipping it all night. This will definitely be a night I remember. I'm here with Bridgeport senior Chase McCormick. How do you feel about this being your last homecoming? How do I feel about this being my last homecoming? I feel like I'm going to dance so hard this place is going to go up in flames. What were the thoughts running through your mind when choosing the boxes? I was really afraid because I really wanted to pick the right one, but I guess I picked the right one. <laughs> what were the thoughts going through your mind when choosing the boxes? I honestly didn't think I'd get it, you know, because I didn't actually pick, the, like, get, my, get my choice. I just got what was left, but I mean, I guess it was the right one. And I'm McKenna Beal with your weather. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 37. Saturday will be a high of 45 and a low of 30. And Sunday will be a high of 46 and a low of 29. The lunch for today will be grilled cheese, corn, carrots, mixed fruit, and an oatmeal bar. Have a great weekend, Bridgeport. It's my boy and me with a happy meal in his booster seat. Knowing that he couldn't have the toy till his nuggets were gone. A green traffic light turned straight to red. I hid in my brakes and mumbled under my breath. His fries went a flying and his orange drink covered his lap. Well, in my four year old said a four letter word. It started with S, and I was concerned. So I said, Son, now where'd you learn to talk like that? He said, I've been watching you, Dad. Ain't that cool? I'm your buckaroo. I want to be like you and eat all my food and grow as tall as you are. We got cowboy boots.